Alright, so in this video we're going to look at adding the hangman's noose, a sort of more visual display as well for this one. So you'll notice at the top I've got from Turtle Import Star, and I'm giving you this code, it's just a demo, it's not actually the code that you're going to use with hangman anyway. And what I'm trying to do is, on the first error, draw that first rectangle that you can see. On the second error, when we put another guess in, it's going to give us the next part of it. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't let you move those boxes while it's creating them. So it's created it on my first incorrect guess. So on my second one, it draws my next part of the noose. Now, it's a bit chunky, but I wanted to draw it that way, so there we go. And you'll notice that it's finished and it's not got that not responding error as well. That's because we've got done right down at the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is try and put it so that we've got the third error displayed. And then what I'd like you to do is actually modify it for your own code because I'm not putting it straight into it. That's where the challenge comes in. So, the third guess, we're going to need to name a new function name, and I've just copied and pasted it to save myself time. And I'll put a space after that. There we go. And if I scroll back up, I'm just going to copy and paste the second error and see where I want to go from there. Right, I'm going to name it third error. And now I could really do with seeing where the last part of my noose ended, where the last part of my diagram ended. So I might press F5 just to see which way we're facing, but to do that I'm going to comment out these lines so it doesn't call those, because right at the minute I don't have the code that I want to run. So my first incorrect answer, type in the second incorrect answer, it's not letting me there. Why aren't you letting me type in an answer? Oh, I wasn't clicked in the right place. So the next correct answer is there. Right. Now that little arrow is pointing to the right. I want to move it forward so it can either draw a little arrow underneath there and fill that bit in. The support structure. But I think I'm going to try and go across the two frames. So I'm just going to go over those two. So I'm going to need to get, first off, my turtle to... Oh, I'll well, uncomment those as well. I need to move my turtle forward first off. So as part of my third error, I'll keep it as the brown because it's going to be the structure report. I get it first across a bit. Too far is going to be over there. The whole length is 200. And I walk forward 20 that way. And that's the width of 50. So I'm going to go at least 70 to the starting point. Um, let's take those out for now and put the pen back down. So the pen's up while I walk forward 70 and get to that bit where I cross. I'm not going to need a loop, this is all going to be a separate image I think. I'm going to walk forward a little bit there, to make it even I might do 20, because that's the distance from the end, and then I might go right and I want it to go down that way. So if it's facing that way, to go down there it would be 90, to go down over there it's going to be further than 90. Let's go with. Do, 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 do. It's probably going to be about 90 plus about 45, so it's going to be about 115. But I'll try 215 and see how far it goes. Because there's nothing, there's nothing stopping us for just trying different ones out. And I'm going to try and walk all the way down so it crosses the next one, and we'll just try 90 to begin with. So first one into my second guess. Goes across there, enter my third guess. Oh, 2.15 was definitely too far then. So it's gone all the way around and up. And what's brilliant about the fact that you're programming it is you can go back on yourself. It doesn't matter that you want to try something different. You can just go back. So let's try 1.25. I think I said 1.15 earlier, but we'll have a go. We'll see where it ends up. Alright, second one. Third one. Alright, that's crossing over. I'm quite happy with that one. It just needs to go a bit further forward. Um, let's say another 10, 20. Do it in small increments, make sure it hits it. Let's try 110. And this one, when you're drawing with a type Python turtle, it is going to take a little bit of trial and error. Learned from last time now. I remember to press on the edge. 
going to need a little bit further forward. Now it's not as far out as I would have liked for this one, but at least it's getting there and it's looking like it's going to support those two pieces of wood. Alright, after it's gone forward 20, I need it to go right so it's facing towards the top of the page. Let's try 65 and see where we are if we went forward. Um, just 20, because that's the size of the piece of wood. First correct answer, or incorrect answer even. Second incorrect answer. We've tested them to death now, haven't we? Third incorrect one. Ooh. Now it's gone far enough, it just hasn't gone right far enough. I need it to go another few degrees to the right. So that right one. I imagine at this point I'm going to have to add over 90, but we'll try 90 as just sort of a placeholder for a moment. You should be thinking thinking at these same times as to when you'd call those ones. I thought it was going to be over 90. Um, exactly how you would actually incorporate it into your already existing hangman as well. So you're going to need the import statement right at the top. You're going to need these functions that create the errors or drawings of errors. You could also create it as a separate file and import that separate file. It's your choice. We did it in year eight, so you're more than welcome to have a go at that one. And at the moment, I'm just doing the little fiddly bits as it comes through. So in your hangman code, as I'm typing away on this one, you'll have places where it counts how many errors you've got and how many incorrect guesses you've got. So at each point, you can draw the next part of your Python turtle function. It can just be a call on that one. Um, I'd suggest having a look at it within your own code first before continuing on with this video, because all I'm going to do now is error check that one. I'm going to stop talking because I'm losing my voice at the same time, which isn't useful. And I'm just going to make sure I fix that part of the hangman noose. Your challenge, can you use the Python turtle, that looks much better, to create an example of the noose as your game is progressing? So it's not drawing it all in one go, it's drawing it bit by bit. Good luck, and over to you.